My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. This is a short video on the rhythms of life and leadership. So life is movement, and not just random chaotic movement, but movement in cycles. Think about heartbeat, breathing, two longer term cycles, such as uh, a relationship or a career. These exist all around us, like when we shake someone's hand, when we have a coffee, there's a beginning, a middle and end. These kind of cycles are everywhere. We tend to have our favourite parts of these cycles and rhythms, however. Um, I might particularly like beginnings, find that exciting. Someone else might particularly like endings. The critical thing here is that we don't get attached or clingy to the part of the cycle that we like best or get resistant to other parts of the cycle because they're all parts of life. Much of life and leadership, the skill is really, um, it's not just doing the right thing, but doing the right thing at the right time in the right relationship. So interpersonally, we call this tact. And from a business point of view, you call it being tactical. So the simplest model I use for this is the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. You think of spring as the time of beginnings, a time of awakening, um, growing, accelerating. Summer, on the other hand, is more about filling, being fully awake, full speed. Autumn is about slowing down, containing, moving away from, declining. Winter is about ending. Also um, rest and the preparation for, for the next cycle to spring to begin again. So it's, it's a circle rather than a linear thing that begins in spring. In a task context, this looks like not doing, preparing, starting, doing, completing, reflecting, and then not doing again. Notice the not doing part with either side of this, this, this cycle. Relationally, the cycle might start with aloneness, then with meeting, connecting, Dialogue and transformation, so some kind of change is happening there. Completing and then departing back to aloneness. Notice uh, as individuals or as cultures, we, we have our addictions and preferences. So um, a lot of businesses I work with aren't particularly good at resting or reflecting. It's always action, action, action. So they might not capture the learning from something as it happens. Equally relationally, some people um, love the drama of leaving. Some people constantly need to be meeting new people because they have a particular part of the cycle that, that, that they're, they're good at and that's the part they want to keep doing. However, as, as I said, life's more about um, surfing the whole cycle. If you're interested in this, you can look into it many ways. Biology and physics, you know, even an atom has a rhythm. Um, you can look at George Leonard, Dr. Richard Strozzi Heckler, Gabriel Roth has a dance based on this. Um, is, you know, native cultures have their own theories about this. There's many ways. Um, I've brought many of these together in a chapter in my book, The Body and Leadership, and this chapter on these cycles is available freely online.